Hi, and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. I'm Monica Weitzel. The West Columbia Gorge Chamber of Commerce works to support and advance civic, industrial, commercial, and general interests of the West Columbia Gorge region. The Chamber has undergone some major changes this year, and they are still providing connection to the cities and communities of the Gorge. Today, we'll be talking with the board president of the West Columbia Gorge Chamber, Jeff Kenway, and joining him will be board president-elect, Cindy Passanante, and member services representative, Marcia Chiadano. Welcome to Community Hotline at Home. Thank you for having us. Yeah, it's great to, it's great to see you all again. Mm -hmm. So I understand that the Chamber has undergone some pretty major changes this past year. Can you tell me a little bit about that and why you made those changes? Well, first of all, uh, the changes were mostly related to our relationship with the city of Troutdale. Uh, they, for years, have wanted to do the tourism piece themselves, uh, and then they kept backing away from the idea. Uh, with the, the pandemic coming on and the reduced amount of uh, funds that coming from the transit lodging tax, it seemed a good point to uh, break that relationship. Uh, and they're going to promote tourism in Troutdale themselves, and we are freed uh, from that obligation. Uh, financially, obviously, that was a, a big impact on us, but it also allowed us the freedom to really concentrate on our connection to the Gorge. The connection to the Gorge is what we're trying to focus on. Uh, we are the chamber which connects the cities and communities of the Gorge. So that really changes our marketing level uh, tremendously. So we um, went to mobile basically because we did not need an office per se. Uh, everything being mobile, everything being virtual, um, you can't go out to businesses on a regular basis. You have to you know, do social distancing, masks, whatnot. Um, it just didn't seem to make sense to spend hundreds of dollars on a space which virtually no one used. Um, Marcia would like to have a place to hang her hat in some ways, but during the pandemic, we have focused on our connection through uh, virtual elements like Zoom, uh, obviously the phone, um, we're using email and um, conferencing. So all the different things that we need to do, uh, we said, well, we need to do that virtually. We need to do it in a mobile capacity. And as things free up, uh, the chamber is going to be able to go out and serve the community rather than to make people stop by an office to see us. Uh, even when we are a visitor center, chamber members seldom came to the office uh, to see us. So we're able to take the monies that we get and invest in our community through this relationship. So when you're looking at how we went mobile, that's how we did it. Um, so we have everything uh, connecting in a mobile fashion. So um, we don't have to worry about the office. Um, we have our grand uh, printing uh, machine here in my office, actually. Um, so we can do anything that we were doing in the other office. And of course, we have the access to the internet. Uh, Marsha is equipped with a mobile device which allows her to do everything uh, mobile. So calls, text, video, everything she can do from her mobile phone. Yeah, I can see there'll be a lot of benefits to that. Besides the savings, uh, it, it, it gets people to understand better that you're not just Troutdale just because you're located there, that you actually serve Wood Village and Fairview and Bridal Vale and Cascade Locks and you know everything in between. So, you know, people, we'll see it as a gorge chamber as, as opposed to just the Troutdale uh, area. And also, I, I know in talking to Marcia previously that uh, she was going to out to meet some potential members and, and they met at a, at a local restaurant or, or something like that. And, and you know, it, it, you got to go out there then and just check out the businesses, right? I mean, you may be going to those businesses or, or meeting at another business. And, and that, you know, that, that's always a good thing when you're trying to recruit new members. W would you agree with that, Marcia? I would, yes. I, I love, I can hardly wait to get out more uh, to visit with members and to show the face of the chamber so that more people might join. And so, uh, yes, last week on a little truck that I took, I recruited two people, so right. two new businesses, and that was very wonderful. 
<laughs> Tell me a little bit, if you could, about the, um, about the, mem the benefits of being a member of the chamber. Uh, one, of the, one of the biggest uh, um, benefit, I think, is being on our website. And our website eventually will be uh, really connected to Google. We're really working on the website. It's going to be changing. And it's slowly changing, so you're not going to see, you know, unless you really memorize what the website was like. And, uh, but there's a link on there to your website uh, as a business and all your contact information. And uh, so that is really great. So when people are Googling where to eat in Troutdale, where to eat in Wood Village, it will come right to our website, hopefully. Um, another thing is the listing in our wonderful magazine uh, that comes out annually. And uh, that is also a, a wonderful piece that goes out all over, um, particularly the west end of the gorge. Networking opportunities uh, are wonderful on Wednesday morning. I can't tell you how it's increased the business of the people who are talking. And I'm making sure that all of the members get a chance to talk on this Zoom. I know myself that I am going out and contacting some of these businesses for things that I need personally. Um, we also have, um, the, the networking is great to get to know other people, to know that you're not alone, particularly during COVID. And there's all kinds of advertising opportunities. Uh, there's also the marketplace trade shows, which we're going to be doing twice a year, and uh, where business, the community is invited into businesses, and the, all the businesses have a table, um, and that will be at, uh, in Troutdale. Um, but other than that, uh, we, we have a lot of things, and I'm always open, caring, concerned about our members. Anything, new ideas, bring them forth. Yeah. And we will <laughs> open to it, them. yeah. Mm -hmm. you know. You know, and, and the Zoom thing, I mean, I think everybody's getting used to doing their meetings and whatnot over, over Zoom, but, but it does allow some people to attend those meetings that might not have been able to before, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so, you know, you've got to find those silver linings where you can. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Cindy, I want to ask you a, a question. You, uh, you're the president-elect, so you're going to be taking over Jeff's role uh, this next year. What, do you, what are we looking forward to in 2021? 2021 and the end of 2020, we're looking forward to some new activities that will be encompassing all of all of the activities that are going on. One of the things that we're really excited is the holidays coming up. Hopefully, COVID will have come out and we'll be able to get back to shopping and doing things like that. And we're going to be having the Grinch come to visit each of our cities on West Columbia Gorge area bringing Whoville and Cindy Lou to bring the Grinch his new growing heart. So that's going to be an event we have coming up. Next year, we hope to have the East County Bite uh, again. The Bite of East County, yeah. yeah. Bite of East County, sponsored by the West Columbia Gorge Chamber and the businesses of the area. One of the things that's been very exciting with our new website and what we're doing is putting in all the businesses in the cities of Fairview, Wood Village, and Troutdale, and then featuring and highlighting our members. So they, all the businesses get a listing, name, contact, but then if they're a member, they get ad additional connections so it's going to be much more enhanced, enhanced and much more um, able to reach out to our businesses and feature their opportunities to grow. So that's what our big, big effort is, is to make sure that they're able to grow, that our business's focus is towards them. We have a monthly newsletter that we feature one, we make it fun, and um, kind of getting to know everybody and everybody in the area and all the wonderful things that are happening there. Well, you know, it, it's, the Gorge is such a gorgeous, beautiful area and, and people a lot of times think about all the, the tourist places to go, which are, you know, so there's so many, and there's so much beautiful nature things to do out in, in the Gorge area, but there's some really great businesses and some really wonderful people in, the, in those communities. And uh, 
things that I wanted to mention too is there's a great artist community that we have have started their own um, foundation, and we as the chamber are very much encouraging them and helping sponsor them so that they will have their own Fall Festival of the Arts in 2021, and we'll be a significant sponsor for them and support them in every way that we can. So artists are a huge part of the Gorge area and part of what we want to keep going. Yeah, the, the Gorge area does have a reputation for being kind of a, a haven for, for artists and art, artisans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, can any, any of you tell me what, what do you think is the biggest advantage to, to going mobile what, besides saving money? What have you found? Well, moving into the 21st century, so to speak, uh, the new wave in business is doing things virtually. Uh, businesses are doing more from home. People have home offices, uh, and we're going to be no different. We're going to be out in the community rather than in tied to an office. I think that's going to be a huge thing for us. It also gives us the ability to communicate uh, all the time. Um, I mean, I'm on the computer many hours a day, uh, as well as Marcia and Cindy, but uh, that communication is going to be for, foremost, and I think that's what's going to make us more effective. Uh, we're not the only chamber that has done this uh, mobile uh, idea. Uh, matter of fact, we did a lot of research before we even uh, entered into this uh, arena. Uh, the other thing, of course, is we are actively pursuing the DMO for the Gorge. Uh, we have a seat there because we were the visitor center for many, many, many years. And explain, we are still what there. The, DMO is. the Destination explain. Marketing Organization okay. for the, the West Columbia Gorge. Okay. So we still have a seat there and we are actively pursuing uh, things going on in the area because uh, tourism still is a big part of our chamber. It is still part of our community. And we realize when people come to the gorge, they are going to need a, a, a guide. And we are going to still be that guide. Even though Troutdale is going to promote Troutdale, we're going to promote the gorge. So um, that marketing arm is still going to be part of the chamber. So when people get a membership with us, they're also going to get the connection to the marketing of the gorge which is really key for our restaurants our hotels motels uh and the tourist sites like uh, the vista house multnomah falls the uh, all hiking trails we're going to be still a big part of that matter of fact there's a whole bunch of stuff coming up soon for our chamber to uh, participate in and uh, that will be forthcoming in our newsletter talking about uh, more things that we're going to do but the idea of, of being out in the community, like Marcia sees business, I see business, Cindy sees business, um, is going to be more powerful than any organization that sits in an office. Uh, when we return from um, the quarantine methods, we will again have morning AMs, we'll have luncheons, mm -hmm. uh, and we'll have our business after social hour in person. But in the meantime, uh, the only live event we're going to have is the business after social hour. We're meeting at Alex's, which is at the corner of Halsey in uh, Fairview Avenue, I guess it's called, when you get that far down on 223rd. So we're going to be there uh, safely distancing, and if people need masks, they'll be wearing masks. So Good. we're there. Good. Something to look forward to then. Yeah, and I do hope, I think we all hope this COVID, <laughs> this COVID uh, pandemic is, is over soon. But in the meantime, you know, you do have really good resources. And I have to say, I use your, your chamber directory all the time. So it's um, online and in person. So it's, it's really helpful. Is there anything else you want us to know, any of you, about the, the chamber that we've missed? Cindy, you have something you want to add? The candidate forum that we had um, on October 7th, and this was an opportunity and is recorded and will be posted on our website so that voters of the cities can see who their representatives are running and how they want to vote to have the management of their cities run. It'll be the candidates for Fairview, Troutdale, and Wood Village. 
as well as some state representatives. So please take a moment and view that candidate's form and uh, make your choices. Yes, and please get out there and vote. <laughs> <laughs> Making a difference. So uh, again, for those who are going to review it, it'll be on the website. We'll have a, a rebroadcast of it uh, through Metro East. And we thank Metro East for their, the opportunity to talk on this station and present the ideas and views of our communities to our members and the bigger picture of the communities. So anyway, so it will be a, a rebroadcast of the candidates forum, which would be aired 11.30 to 1 on the 7th, but your review will be done at, when you can. And we do want you to have an active involvement in the voting process. And it is very important that you know the candidates, you know who they are, what they represent, and what they're gonna be doing for our communities. So that will be the mayors of Troutdale. It will be um, the state representative for District 25 uh, and, and 49, that's the state representative 49 and state Senate District 25. So you'll wanna review those uh, candidates on the forum that we'll broadcast um, soon. Anyway, so um, just that's a reminder. And if you lose any of this, it is on our website and it will be on our calendar. So you should be able to see all the information uh, in the rebroadcast uh, of what we're talking about. So uh, we wish we could do it. I'm, I'm going to try to record the session. So we'll be able to hopefully put that up on our website for people to re review um, down the line. Sounds good, sounds good. Well, thank you all of you for the work that you're doing. I know that you've, you've had a really, um, we've all had a really rough year, but you've managed to, to take a rough year and make something really good out of it. And I think that the, the direction of the chamber is, is a good one and a positive one. So thank you all so much for being with us today and for um, sharing what's going on at the West Columbia Gorge Chamber. All right, thank, thank you. you for having thank us once all. again, and we look forward to doing things with you in the future. Thanks. Thank you both, or thank you all very much. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Community Hotline at Home. To all of our viewers, please stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you next time.